Pokey Magics, another day, another video. But today's video, I want to introduce you guys to my arena team. I've been working on them. I'm really proud of them. I did get Arbiter, and I do have another Legendary in there. So yes, of course, naturally, my team should be pretty good, right? But I just want to go over them and then show you some clips because, I don't know, maybe I, I thought that maybe if you saw my team and why and how they're built the way they are, it might give you some more insight and it might help you make a good arena team yourself so let's check that out okay so this is a team i know they're all girls but hey man that's just how it turned out and they have excellent synergy and we'll break it down i just wanted to you know give you a visual of what my team looks like pretty tough girls right pretty tough but let's break them down so we'll go to the champions all right, so we're gonna start with the Arbiter. So pretty much, right, as you can see, now her speed is at 251. I could make this a lot better, but you know, you're limited to the gear you have. And it's really nothing special, honestly. Like, yeah, she has, you know, a lot of speed, but her crit rate, her crit damage is low, but she's not there for that. What she's really here for, honestly, is to provide this aura, which is ally speed and arena by 30%. And she does have a lot of clutch. Uh, um, skills like okay so this is just pretty basic adds weekend okay that's kind of cool but this right here attacks all enemy 75% chance decrease in the duration of the enemy bust this thing is super useful like sometimes just them having one less turn on their buff will make or break you right so that's pretty useful obviously this ability here turns all meters uh, fill, I mean fill and turns all allied meters by 30% and gives you 50% increased attack So, you know, that's good and Destiny's call which is super clutch, but revise all dead allies to 35% of their HP then fills all allies um, Turn meter by 20% right so she adds a lot of utility But she pretty much provides that speed that because like in arena it's pretty much defense or speed burst, right? so she brings that speed so she is a worthy addition and also now we're going to go to Shir shirimani and as you can see she has so okay let's go back a little bit so arbiter has 251 speed right so she, i want arbiter to go first and then next i want shirimani to go first and her speed is at 178 right she has pretty decent crit damage pretty decent HP but uh, she does provide you with some utility but one amazing skill and it's Ice Storm so her Ice Storm pretty much freezes everybody right and that helps man because not only you have Arbiter who increases your speed but you're now you're taking away their speed by making them use one whole turn because to unfreeze yourself you gotta spend one turn right so Arbiter goes first Shiri Manny comes in with Ice Storm, and this thing does, you know, decent damage too. So it's not that, you know, it's, it's pretty good, right? And you'll see all that in the clips. And then you have basic attack, attacks three times, you know, it has a chance to freeze too, so that, that helps. And then she could provide you with heals. So she has a very good A3 and some utility, right? So now we're gonna go the next person Zargala and as you can see I got her speed at 162 so the order is Arbiter, Shirimani does her freeze and then Zargala comes in with her skill which is Crack Armor which pretty much attacks all enemy three times and the first hit has 50% chance to play 60% decreased defense so pretty much this thing hits hard too not only does the first hit apply a debuff but the next two are going to hit them with that debuff applied if it gets applied right so this sometimes this ability alone could just one shot everybody so that's pretty much her her only use is that she has this hard hitting debuffing attack and also her a2 right attacks one enemy and then it instantly activates crack armor skill so just imagine she does this first right doesn't kill anybody right 
but they're almost half dead and it's her turn again and she attacks one enemy now she's this instantly reactivates and she gets to attack all of me again three times so it's like it feeds into itself right so very powerful arena champion and then lastly skull crown now if you don't have arbiter you could substitute her increased ally speed uh because she has uh you know increased ally speed in the arena also but her speed is the last of all four of my uh, arena champions and it's because as you guessed right if you if you've been following she applies the speed and and increased power and then sheer manny comes in and freezes everyone she comes in decreases their defense and you know softens them up because when skull crown comes around creeping touch attacks all enemy has 50 percent chance of placing weakening and this thing also hits really hard so most of the time most of the time not all the time by the time we get to this point everybody's dead and then if they're not dead you got disability attacks all enemy right and it places extra hit if target has more than 50 uh 50 percent hp so that's good but between these two they're they're pretty much gonna die and sometimes i mean sure Manny even kills people with her ice storm so you know oh let's look at the masteries the masteries don't really matter too much in the arena in my opinion but maybe for some people they would like to see it so i'm just putting it up here All right. All right. So, enough of the introduction. I like to make short videos. So now that you guys got an idea and why I made this team. Oh, another thing too. Let's just look at the great hall. This is my great hall. So, as you know, the whole point of doing arenas is to get medals to upgrade your great hall, right? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm only at level 92, but man, I got a long way to go. So you got to get these medals. It's, it's a big thing. So, all right. So that's full disclosure. So let's roll the clip and you can see for yourself in action how they perform. All right, let's get started. We're just going to go down the list and I'm just going to be the commentary, the narrator to just further showcase what's happening. So Arbiter starts first, Charmy does a freeze, Devastate. Sometimes now the AI issues do happen where instead of doing you know devastator or whatever she should did crack armor now she does it applying the debuffs so that does happen on auto but obviously if you, if you do it manually you know you won't have those issues all right so the next guys arbiter should go first sherman freezes Devastate, okay, so killed it. Crack armor, you get a free crack armor. Skull crown does her thing. And then look, another crack armor. Because after Devastator, it's pretty much a free crack armor. And they're done. So you can see too, like the speed does help. Like the other team hasn't even attacked one time, right? So it's nice to have speed. All right, you guys already know, same thing. All right, cracked armor, and boom. These guys are a little, little beefy. All right, died, and free cracked armor. So, you attack a lot, and you're hitting everybody, right? So it's pretty much you're just nuking down all your opponents. All right, same thing. saw right there sharp sharp <laughs> can't say her name right but she pretty much provided heals Sherry Manny sorry and also see skull crown would have died right there but because of her passive she didn't right so this arena team has a lot of gimmicks and a lot of utilities that's why I like this setup they really help out with each other synergy's cool and boom so you guys get the idea We'll just do this one last one, and then we'll just wrap it up. 
Alright, same situation. It always starts off this way. They are faster teams out there, though. And done. Alright. So you guys know now. Alright, so this concludes the video. You guys saw my team. I hope it was um, a little bit informative. I hope you gave some insight. And I hope um, this will help you um, up your arena team and get those medals. Because, man, those medals will come in handy when you're trying to do Dungeon 20 content and whatever new content's coming out. Faction Wars, new clan bosses, even in the current clan boss. It all adds up. All those percentages, gains, adds up. And it does show. So, that being said, guys, you guys take care. Be safe. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Perfect.